Richard Briho coming off a, a win over Oregon State. Is this a big win? Uh, this is a huge win for us. Um, you know, the first three games didn't go um, exactly as we'd love it to. Uh, but, you know, we had a clean slate. We kept saying that, you know, this is, we're starting over. This is conference play now. And um, what's important is, is starting off 1-0 in conference, um, going up and showing everybody we can't play on the road. Uh, we can come out victorious on the road. And uh, I thought we did a great job when, when our backs were against the wall. We showed the resiliency that we know this team has. And we put a, together a great job and we punched it in. You know, after a 49-20 loss, you know, is it really that important to kind of just flush everything and start to start over again? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, after a 49-20 loss, yeah, it's important. But especially, um, you know, after the preseason per se, you know, going into conference play now, um, it, it's really you got to clean slate your own up. Yeah. And so uh, for us, that was our mentality. Um, that's what we kept saying all week is, is we got a fresh start. We got a new chance to uh, build something. And um, I thought we did a great job coming out on top today. And um, this is going to be a huge uh, stepping stone, I believe, for us in terms of going forward and in, into the, the Pac-12 play. You threw 11 times. Were you checking out of some passes there? That's a very low number. Yeah. Um, no, no. Um, you know, we were just getting the looks we wanted to in the run game. And uh, we, we put it on our, our guys up front, our offensive linemen. We put the trust in them. Um, they're going to get the job done because, uh, like I said, um, the, the looks that Oregon State was giving us was, was more beneficial to the to the run than it was the pass. And so uh, 11 times, I didn't know that. That is kind of low. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was a little bit more than that. But, uh, I mean, I thought the 11 times that we did throw, um, you know, minus, you know, a couple times where uh, we had some protection breakdowns. I thought they did a great job outside of um, getting open and, and playing um, great outside. I mean, yeah, would you have imagined that you could throw 11 times and be that productive on offense? Um, you know, it, it, it is whatever it takes to win. And so, uh, you know, it, it was only 11 times, but, uh, you know, how we were able to run the ball and, and how effectively we were able to be up front, um, I, I thought that enabled us to uh, stick with that run and um, kind of when we were in those third down situations, um, I thought we did a, a much better job in third down today um, than in you know the first three games, um, and that's that's just attributed us to us our, our focus and our, our preparation and just really our execution. Can you talk about the drive then the first half and then what New Eyes talked about at halftime? Uh, yeah, the, the drive to end the first half is uh, we, we wanted we didn't want to get the ball back. Um, you know we we, we, want, we were up. 21-3, and uh, we wanted to, you know, get a couple first downs. And coach said that if we, if we had a, a big play, then we were going to go into a, a two-minute scenario, in which then we're going to be in, you know, two-minute. We're going to be hurry up. But uh, you know, our, our thoughts were we didn't want to give him the ball back, and uh, we just kind of want to run the clock off. Um, unfortunately, uh, we we didn't get, you know, the first downs that we needed to to run that clock off. And um, you know, they were able to make a big play on special teams. Uh, no, no. I mean, of course, that's what Oregon State probably feels. But for us, um, you know, we're, we're still at 21-10. Uh, we still have a whole half to play. And we know that as long as we executed like we did in the first half, um, that we were able to come out victorious. Um, we didn't. We weren't able to execute exactly how we were, um, like in the first half, in the first half and the second half. But, um, you know, when it, when it mattered and when it was crunch time, uh, this team did a great job of stepping up and making plays. Richard, you're the quarterback of this team. What does it mean to be 2-2, two 1-0 and two, and and in Pac-12, rather than 1-3 and 0-1? Yeah, it, it, this is a huge win for us. Um, I, 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 I wouldn't say it's a, it was a must win, but it's, it's definitely a, a big stepping stone, like I said, um, a, a big momentum um, shift for us in, in terms of going into the Pac-12 play now and um, being 1-0 and being able to come out victorious on the road. Uh, I thought we showed a lot of people, um, you know, the Bruins that we really are uh, today. Richard, uh, Rick said that he went into halftime and took ownership of that, of that punt return, so that was my fault. Um, and he, he also added that, you know, we need you. I need you guys to pick me up. Yep. You know? um, to hear that from a coach, and especially an embattled coach, uh, coming off that loss, is that is that something you guys, in a way, kind of needed to hear? Um, you know, coach did say, yeah, he said uh, that that power turn is on me, um, but he said I need you guys to get my back, and uh, every single person on this team has Coach Nas's back and is going to have Coach Nas's back as long as he's our coach. And uh, I thought we did a great job responding. I thought uh, we played, you know, well in the second half. Not exactly how we wanted to, obviously, but uh, we did pick him up, and ultimately we came out on top. What do you think of that?